Well, this is going to be part one to the boat build. I'm not sure how many parts they'll end up being. It depends what work we actually end up doing. To start off, I'm cutting out the front cupboard and cutting the front bit off the bow. I'll walk around the boat now, give you a quick look at what the plan is, and then basically I'm going to be upgrading the cupboard. I want a bigger cupboard with a top hatch rather than what I've already got. Some of you may have seen the boat, but I'm going to show you now the plans that we have and what we're doing at the front end. A few other little plans at the back end and a few other little bits. But I'm going to do the front first, see how we get on, as I've never fiberglassed, and then we're going to move on. Start off, we're going to be cutting it all out, mocking up all the new plywood, and then fiberglass and everything. I'm going to be trying to do it like a how-to video for fiberglassing. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, spoke to a lot of professionals, so I think I've got a good idea of what I need to do. So I'm going to share it with you lot. There could end up being two, three, four, five parts to this video, but we'll see how we get on and how it goes. Right, I'll show you the boat now. Well, as you can see here, this is the front cupboard I want to get rid of. You've got a little gap under there. To be honest, it's no good for anything. Um, I did put a video out a short while back when I was going through the waves, which is a bit choppy, and it cracked right there. What I did, I stood inside the boat yesterday and I gave it a pull. And you'll see the damage it caused when I pulled it. It's not been fitted properly. Whoever added this to the boat did it wrong. As you can see, it's just lifting. And if you look, the fiberglass it straight to the original gel coat. It's all smooth. There's a bit of silicon in there, as you can see right there, and there's a bit there, which was used to hold it in place. There's a little piece of wood under this section here, which is probably used to attach the bow roller. It's rotten, it's like soaked. So what I'm doing, I'm cutting this top piece out, cutting all that out, cutting all this cupboard out, get rid of all of that. The cupboard is then gonna be built to about this height. So it's a taller cupboard. I'm gonna get rid of the front hatch, extend the cupboard to maybe about here, so we've got more storage. Fiberglass it all in, obviously repaint it white, but instead of having that bow bit there, up, raised, it's gonna be just the top of this cupboard, basically. So we've got somewhere to sit for more people to sit, potentially even stand so we can cast for the bass. Well, the next part to the video, I'm going to start getting all this cut out and then we'll see what we've got and see how much damage there is. If you look inside the cupboard, you can see slightly there, there's been a bit of water damage down the bottom, right here. So we need to have a good look, cut it all out and see what we're working with. A few other parts to the boat, what I want to do. This seat at the back, right here, I'm going to cut this seat in half, potentially. Cut this seat in half, because I sit this side. Then I can store my tank, or a live bait tank, on this side of the boat. The fuel tank I'm on about, or the live bait tank. The deck, down here, I'm potentially going to cut out a square, like this. Have it sloping down into the bottom skin of the boat, as this is double skinned. I have an automatic bilge pump down here. So when the deck gets wet from pulling the pots, the water will drain. One other modification I might be doing is a splash well at the back. Basically, a bit of wood sloping here, down the sides here, so any water that does decide to come over the back drains straight back out and don't end up in the boat. That is the few modifications I'm doing for now. I might do a few modifications to this seat here, basically board the back of it in, so anything I put in the front doesn't slide down the boat when I'm motoring. But yeah, it gives you a rough idea. What we're gonna be doing now is cutting along this edge so we can try and remove this. I've cut all down that side, so now we're gonna cut along this side.
Well, as you can see, we've cut the front end out now. I've cleaned up all these edges all around here and we've cut out the front part of the bow right there. I'll give you a closer look. Hopefully you can see better from this angle. But the cupboard we're gonna put putting in is gonna run along the line of the boat there and it's gonna to come to about this area here for the new cupboard. And we're gonna be fitting a bit of like a triangle of wood across this part, reinforced so we can put the bow roller on and the cleat for the bow.